welcome to our Harbor Highlights. On today's show, we have an interview with one of our new teachers and highlights from the Winter 2 season sports. This and more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Bella. And I'm Maya. We had many new teachers join Harbor Lights this year, and it's been fun getting to know them. We have a, another amazing teacher located in the 8th grade hall. She teaches French and art and is quite talented. Let's meet Ms. Lindemann. Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm here to interview Ms. Lindemann to learn more about her. Tell us more about yourself. So I have been a teacher for 12 years. This is my 12th year teaching. Um, I am also an artist alongside a teacher. So I have my own metalsmithing business and I like to make jewelry or small metal projects at my house. Uh, I also love to read, and I love dogs. Can you share about the Cool Food Art Project? Sure. So last semester, um, I had a 3D art class, and um, one of the projects that we did was called a toilet paper food sculpture. And for this project, I had never done it before with students, so I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, but we looked at how artists um, through generations have used food as inspiration in art and then students brainstormed their favorite foods and then we created it out of just toilet paper and water so we added we dipped toilet paper into water we put it together once it was dried then we painted it with acrylic paint and they turned out really realistic um, i love this project because it's something that you can do at home with very little supplies and it doesn't cost a lot of money what do you like about teaching art and French? Well, I'll start with art. Um, I love teaching art because art teaches you so many life skills that you don't really think about. Um, so you learn how to observe the world. You learn how to reflect on a problem. You learn how to problem solve. Um, I also like that a lot of people think that you have to be good at art mm -hmm. to be an artist. But being good at art is just learning a skill just like you would learn to be good at math or good at reading or good at um, writing. So I love teaching students those skills to make them good at art, whatever that means. Um, in terms of French, I love teaching French because um, when I was in high school, I had the chance to go to France with my French class. And I love sharing the culture, the language, the food is amazing, um, all that good stuff with students. And so they get to experience it just like I got to experience it. Why should students take French? Great question. Um, students should take French to broaden their worldview. Um, there's about 300 million people in the world that speak French on many continents, and so it's a way for you to expand your worldview, to learn another language, and to be able to really relate to people and expand your cultural experiences. What are some goals for this school year? Some of my goals for this school year um, one, I, it's been a long time since I've taught French. Um, I have been an art teacher most of my career. So I want to get better at teaching French and learn a lot of cool strategies and techniques. Um, and I'm going to be starting to take um, some conversation French classes in the next few weeks. So I'm excited about that. Um, one of my goals every year is to read the number of books that is equal to the year it is. So my goal this year is to read 24 books, and I'm doing pretty good so far. Thank you, Ms. Lindemann, for answering our questions, and thank you, Loretta, for recording this interview. One thing she didn't share in the interview is that Ms. Lindemann is also a champion puzzler. We are glad you're at our school, and I know students enjoy having you as their teacher. Now for this week's general announcements. Hi, I'm Giovanni. And I'm James. We have many at clubs and activities. Make sure to read the daily announcements for the latest updates and look at the screen for something that might sound good to you. How is your academy doing collecting coins? The top student in each academy that donates the most coins in each academy with a donation of at least $5 worth will win a, a St. Patrick's Day hat. AIM is having a meeting on March 12th at the Mac Bay Library. All are welcome. AIM is a safe and inclusive space to hang out, meet new people, and make a positive impact in our community. It's hard to believe that there are only two more weeks in the third marking period. Make sure you are checking if you're in a campus and doing your best. It was great to see all the honor roll certificates that were passed out. Students earning a B grade point average earn this honor. Make it a goal to earn for the third marking period. Now is the time to start voting for March Book Madness. Cast your vote in the book for the book you want to win. Now back to the anchors. Thanks. It's been an interesting winter. We basically had all our winter in two weeks. We've had an unseasonally warm temperatures and a little snow. Let's ask our science teachers about why that happens. Warmer than normal temperatures is called El Nino. There are many variables, but the shifting waters in the ocean have a big part of it. 
According to climate.gov, this season ranked the fifth strongest El Nino dating back to 1950. Weather patterns predict the strong El Nino usually creates a strong La Nina, which means a cooler than normal weather patterns starting in July. Anyway, with all that said, let's just say despite the lack of winter, the ski club still made five trips this year to Bittersweet, and let's meet some of our new club members. Hi, my name is Omar, and today we're going to we will be interviewing uh, Brody to find more about Skiing Snowboard Club. What is Skiing Snowboard Club? Um, so it's it's um, where you go skiing snowboarding at Bittersweet. What was it like learning something new? Uh, well, for me, I was doing snowboarding, and that was the more challenging out of skiing, skis and snowboarding. And it was it was really difficult the first time. I, didn't, I, I fell a lot. You know, I didn't have a lot of fun the first time. But after I kept trying and, and did some lessons, um, it actually, I got really a lot better. So, yeah. What do you like about Ski and Snowboard Club? Um, well, I like it because I'd never done it before, and I wanted to try something new and challenging. And um, I've also seen a lot of my friends do it, and that and that really motivated me to do it too. Do you encourage others to join next year? Absolutely, I think it's a very fun experience. And if you like snowboarding or skiing, or if you've already done it before, it'd be it, I think it's, it'd be a lot of fun to do it with other people you already know. Thanks for answering our questions, and thank you to the blind for recording. My name is Omar, and today I'm here with Hi, Chloe to find out more about Skiing Snowboard Club. What do you like about Snee and Snowboard Club? That I get to ski with my friends and see them. Would you encourage others to join next year? Definitely. Thanks for answering your questions and thank you for LeBron to record. It was great to get out there and surprisingly, even when we didn't see snow outside, there luckily was enough at Bittersweet to take our trips. If you are interested in joining, sign up start in October or next year. Now over to sports. Thanks, I'm Lauren. And I'm Loretta. The winter two season of sports has now ended. Track and field is open to all grades 6, 7th, and 8th. There are many events to choose from, and it's a great way to get outside, meet new people, have fun, and get good exercise. Boys tennis is also available for all grades. Girls soccer tryouts are for 7th and 8th grade. Pay attention to the daily announcements for where to meet your for your practice and tryouts. Make sure to sign up in final forms and talk to Ms. Dice to Mars in the Student Center if you need help or have any questions. Now here are some students sharing about Winter 2 sports and highlights from their games. Hi, I'm here with Grant Maybrook to interview him about swim. Tell us what you like about swim. Um, also my mental well-being because I can be active every day. Um, and it's, it's fun to be in the water. Nice. What are some things you learned or improved on this season? Everything. Like, uh, my freestyle's gotten way better. Yeah. Hi, I'm interviewing Gabby Estrada. About girls basketball. Tell us what you like about girls basketball. Um, it's really fun, like, getting to see your team, like, do well and win and stuff, and, like, growing closer as friends. What are some things you learned or improved on this season? Um, I definitely improved on, like, having confidence in myself and, like, to, like, score and stuff. I'm here with Owen Zidane to interview him about wrestling. Tell us what you like about the sport you're doing now. So, uh, I really like it because it's, it, you're, you're a team, but you're also a, uh, like, it's also kind of a one-on-one -on -one sport because, like, you have separate matches, and it, you can, like, if you lose your match, <laughs> but your team wins the meet, it's like, there's always a positive to everything usually, which is the w best part. What are some things you learned or improved on this season? Uh, I learned how to, uh, like, just like, I learned how to do the moves just better in general. Thanks, Owen, for letting us interview you, and thank you, Cruz, for recording.
Great job, Panthers, in your games. We heard great things from your coaches. Even amidst struggles in the season, students rose to the challenge and worked hard to improve. Being a part of a team is a great way to build school spirit. So if you haven't been a part of a sport yet, don't miss this great opportunity. Students at Harbor Lights, be the best Panther you can be. Be respectful, be responsible, make good choices, and always go, go whoa. whoa.